after all, boycott works, it does work, and it's not a conflict, it is ethnic cleansing for the Palestinian people. Dear friend, it's simply wonderful to see so many of you here tonight. My name is Fatin Al-Tamimi. <laughs> so many people make mistakes with my name. <laughs> I am a Palestinian, and I am a member of PALFEST as well as the chair of Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign. It is so moving to me personally to see all of you here in solidarity with my people struggle for freedom, justice, and equality. Firstly, I just, like, I just want to thank the amazing people, every one of the PAL Festers, PAL Fest Ireland, and all the, uh, the wonderful artists involved to make, uh, for making this event happen. Secondly, I want to say a few brief words about the Irish campaign to boycott the Eurovision and Apartheid Israel. When we in the IPSC, the Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign, along with PALFEST and Trade Unions Friends of Palestine, started this campaign a year ago, we had no idea how crazily successful it will be. Yes, I say successful, for even though we failed to, conven to, to convince RTE and Sarah McTernan not to go. We have, uh, we have scored huge victories in this campaign. Just in Ireland, 17,000, over 17,000 signatures, pe uh, uh, people signed a petition calling on RTE and all the cultural worker, worker there not to participate while over 6,000 signatures have called on Sarah McTernan not to per uh, perform. The Irish campaign has the support of well-known artists, human rights activists, celebrities, and public figures. The Musician Unions of Ireland, Irish Equality, and many pr prominent LGBTQ activists have also endorsed the campaign. With near daily media coverage, it has suc uh, succeeded in raising awareness uh, of the oppression of the Palestinian people. The huge support within the LGBTQ plus community has cut across the pink washing attempts. The campaign has not only raised the profile of cultural boycott and seen new artists declare their support, it has mainstreamed the BDS movement. Internationally, we see the same trend. The fact that ticket sales are down, hotels aren't booked, and there's been no bump in airplane, airline sales is testament to this success, showing showing that huge numbers of people recognize that the segregated partying in Tel Aviv, while just down the road, Palestinians are living in siege, under siege, and being shot down in cold blood is simply outrageous. To those who claim that RTE and Sarah McTernan should not be taken sides, we say that by attending, they have already chosen to a side. They side the side of the oppressors, the side of the injustice, the side of the brutal apartheid regime that refuses to let my people live free. <laughs> Finally, it is worth nothing that it is uh, in this propaganda campaign, Israel pumps un uh, uncountable millions into trying to portray itself as a model, modern liberal uh, state uh, that the pretty face of apartheid. All, what, uh, all we in the BDS movement have is some hugely dedicated volunteers, the support of people like you, and truth and justice on our side. And just look at the successes we have achieved.
However, in order for Palestinians to be liberated, we need many, many, many more victories. And we need each and every one of you to become part of the global campaign. For you can, for you can be sure that the last note will, uh, will barely have rung out in Tel Aviv before apartheid Israeli state kills yet more Palestinians, steal yet more land, and imprison yet more children. When you leave here tonight, I make a personal plea to you. Please remember that we need your support. We need you to help us fight for our rights and our freedom. Thank you. Thank you.